took you so long? Johnny's dead. I know. They're all dead. I'm next. Do you trust me? I think I can break this curse. Finish this. Okay. Neck champa here. Thank you. Oh, that smells so good. I know. I love that. It's my favorite. <laughs> You gonna buy that? It's beautiful, but I can't afford it. You know, they help to open up your third eye. My third eye? The gateway to the realm of higher consciousness. You know, some people who are able to harness the power of their third eye are often called seers. I don't think you have to be a seer to use your third eye. I mean, I feel like I have a pretty keen sense of intuition and I'm not a seer. So you think you can tell me what's about to happen between us? Because I can. So, um, what's in the box? Her. Whoa. That's sweet. She's not for sale. Come on. Everything has a price. Excuse me, do you have this in black? Yeah, I gotta go to the back to get it. Not her. Creep. I know, right? <sighs> I dare you to take it. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I want it. No, Lauren, I am not just gonna steal it. Come on, Alice. This week on Beyond the Veil, we will be delving even deeper into the world of the dark and the strange as we explore the ghosts of Lock 39. Lock 39 was afflicted by a... Can I help you guys? Hi, Hunter. Um, my name's Alice Crow. This is Lauren and uh, cool. my boyfriend, Dylan. Yeah. What's up? We're huge fans of your show. Um, I'm sorry that we're showing up so unannounced. Let's cut to the point. I've got something I think you're gonna wanna see. Come on in.
Pump yourself. Lauren and I are huge fans. We listen to every show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's that's awesome. That's great. I really appreciated you guys. And thank you. It means a lot. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally flattered. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have something you wanted to show me, or? Oh, yeah. Um, we actually found this at an estate sale today. It was some rich old doctor. I guess he collected stuff like that. We thought you might be interested. You found a shrunken head at an estate sale. Crazy, right? Read the poem. Lilith Ratchet took a hatchet and granted her lover a head in a basket. Just play the game and call her name and one by one you'll feel her pain. It's like a, a nursery rhyme or something. Man, did you read this? <laughs> no offense, dude, but this sort of thing is not my forte, so just along for the ride. Hmm. What are you doing? I'm gonna see if there's anything more to this, Lilith. Ratchet. Well, maybe there's something to this after all. It says, in the late 19th century on the east coast of Maine, Henry and Lilith Ratchet had one son. According to legend, the boy was killed in a horse and buggy accident when he was six years old and Lilith was ultimately held responsible. Henry's affections towards her grew cold, and it wasn't long before all hope was lost when he began courting the town baker. Lilith's heart turned black, and she took to the dark arts in hopes of one day finding her true love. With the help of two local occultists, Lilith set out to make things right. To carry out her indecent intentions, Lilith had to decollate someone who had broken her heart and destroy the life of someone who had betrayed her. Her spell would be completed once her current state of existence ended, allowing Lilith to be reborn into the life of eternal, twisted bliss she recklessly desired. Fueled by vengeance, Lilith presented her husband with the head of his torrid lover and then took his life as well. Though she thought the nightmare was over, for Lilith, it had just begun. In the end, the pair of evil occultists had lied to her once they discovered Henry's mistress, the town baker, was actually their own estranged sister. Out of revenge and necessity, they took Lilith to the shoreline and killed her with a rusty hatchet. They shrunk down her head and transformed her soul into that of a wicked demon. To ensure her eternal suffering and damnation, they attached a fiendish curse to it, and the curse can only be initiated when you recite a certain incantation. Do you mean the poem? Exactly. Now, how much did you say you paid for her? Like, ten dollars. Hmm, because I'd really love to add her to my collection. Oh, uh... <laughs> um, we actually aren't in the market of selling her. Yeah, we were just curious whether it was real or not. $200. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> you got a deal. All right, well that sounds like a great way to burn through 200 bucks, man. I'm gonna kill you. All right, man, you have fun with that little head. Girls, can we get going? Can I have Bree send some pictures right over for you? Okay. Hey. Aunt Jane, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, bye. What's going on? Give me a second. Some fans brought this over for me today. And lucky for me, I was able to convince them to let me have it for... 200 bucks. And you think it's real? That's what we're gonna find out. Wow, 
Look at you wheeling and dealing out shrunken heads. You know, if this thing's actually legit, it's gonna be worth way more than 200 bucks. Exactly. And check this out. It came with this poem. Apparently there's a game you play with it. What kind of game do you play with a shrunken head? It's kind of like hot potato meets musical chairs. Yeah, you recite this poem and pass the head around in a circle, and whomever has the head in their hand, when the poem ends, is out. And you want to play it on the show? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm just not sure how to incorporate her yet, though. I don't know. Bree, do you have any ideas? Bree? Come on, I need you here with me. What? This has got to stop. I'm sorry. Look, I just get so anxious. I mean, it's not every day that someone shows up in your doorstep with something like this. Guess not. She has a really cool backstory, too. <laughs> we are so good at capitalize on this. The viewers are going to eat it up. What's this? Halloween party this weekend. Word on the street is it's going to be quite the event. Oh, really? Hello! Hey, guys! Hey! Alright, what's good? So, my favorites are the vegan blood orange and jackberry. What's better? Vegan blood orange. Alright, I'm trusting you. And what do you want? Me? Those sound gross. I'll take chocolate. Mm, so original. That's what I know. I cannot believe you still work here. I mean, it's only until I graduate. I get a big girl job. Yeah, I guess. So, the real question is, is it on the house, or do we have to pay? Just don't tell my manager. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. So, did you listen to Hunter's podcast? Yes, yes I did. Wasn't that story so creepy? Yeah, but I, I don't really mess around with that type of stuff. Why are you scared? No, I just I don't mess around with that stuff. Why? Oh, come on, tell me. Freshman year, I was dating this waitress who was going through some grieving issues because she lost her boyfriend in a traffic accident. That's awful. It was about six months before we started seeing each other. Anyways, one night we were hanging out at her mom's house and I dozed off. When I woke up, I couldn't move. I tried to yell for help, but nothing would come out but like a faint whisper. Lauren, I swear, there was like a thousand pounds on my back. And I remember looking up at her thinking, are you gonna help me or are you just gonna let me die? So I mustered up all my strength and I pushed myself up off the ground. And when I asked her why she didn't help, she said there was like some kind of dark energy or demon on my back and she was just too afraid to move. Stop, mate, you're giving me chills. Sorry, it's just, I just want to make a point that after my experience, you know, I, I believe there's more after death. Yeah, I, I agree. That was a good choice. Yeah, you guys like yeah, it? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Cool. Do I see you tonight? Yes, you are going to look so good in those boots. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. You want to go? Okay. Yeah. Yep. What's wrong? Sorry. It's just that story you told me. I seriously don't know what I would do if something like that ever happened to me, Nate. I hope it never does, Lauren. I'd be so scared I'd probably just let it kill me. 
<sighs> You'd fight it off. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Nate, can I tell you something? Yeah. And promise not to think I'm some crazy person. I just told you a story about how I was attacked by some demon. I highly doubt there's anything you could tell me that would make me think you're crazy. It's just, did you know sometimes I have dreams about my dead relatives? And they even speak to me. What do they say? That's just it. Like, I can see them and I can kind of make out what they're saying. But it's almost like they're trying to warn me or something. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be that Debbie Downer. It's okay. Look, I gotta go. Thanks for listening. Coming! Mom? <laughs> Hi! Mwah. What a nice surprise! Come on in! Nice to see you! Nice to see you too! I just had dinner with Aunt Judy and I picked up you some donuts! Thank you! You're I see that money your father and I have been giving you is put to good use. Oh, yeah. Do you want some coffee? No, I think I'm going to do a drink. Okay, okay. Here, Mama. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So good to see you. Oh, so good to see you. I tuned in to last week's show, and yeah. truth be told, Hunter, I found it rather dull. Dull, Mom? Hmm. You found it dull? As a matter of fact, I did. You know, ever since you put that assistant into the mix, your show is, well, it seems to have lost something. Are you serious? Hmm. I am. She's nothing but a distraction to you and to your audience. Oh, Mom, I don't agree with you. I mean, Bree brings so much to the show. She's an asset. Mm, you would say that. I still can't digest the fact that you called my show dull. Well, then do something about it. Liven it up a little. Enough of the same old, same old zombie, big head. It's melon heads, Mom. <sighs> Whatever. Why don't you indulge more into ghosts and demons? Remember, your Aunt Jane was a medium. I know she was a medium, Mom. Look, tonight's show has both spirits and the afterlife in it. It's gonna be awesome. Good. I'll be tuning in. Good. Mm. I have to go. Oh. Please don't bore me with this one. Mom! You know, I'm proud of you, Hunt. Even if I think your show is well, don't want boring. With that said, I know your judgment gets clouded when you let that little head thing for your big boy. Mom, I don't like you talking about that stuff. I know. Mm. It's Harry, looking good. Nice hat. Hey. Hi. I love you. I love you too. Hey babe, can you get in touch with Lola? I need to make sure that she can still tape the show for us this weekend. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, sorry, I was just texting her. Okay. Hunter. Yeah? The last time we used her, all you did was complain about how expensive she was. I mean, I could just tape it for you on my phone. Mm. Ah, uh, Bree, not on this one. I mean, we really need to look like we have our stuff together. And showing up with a legitimate camera person is just gonna be a lot more impressive. And let's face it, Bree, it's all about smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Cut. She just texted us back. She's in. Perfect. 
And listen, about this weekend, I really think we need to go bigger with this game. I mean, these kids are gonna be passing around a shrunken head, playing musical chairs. And if nothing big happens, we're just gonna look like idiots. Hmm. I'm listening. Bree, what are you thinking? Well, I was thinking that we could get the ghost of Ratchet to actually show up. You know, just stage it. Freak them out a little bit. Get it all on camera. People think it's real, and then ratings go through the roof. Hmm. Where are we gonna find a ghost at? Well, Lola and I already think we have your girl. Yeah? Bree! I like it. I love it. I love you. Book it. You got a minute to talk? Uh, yeah, sure, Hunter. What's up? What's the deal with this party? These flyers here. I've been seeing them all around campus. What's going on with this? Um, I'm a promoter over at Rockstar. You know the bar. So we're throwing this big Halloween party. Just doing my job, spreading the word. So this is your party? Yeah, I mean, I'm hosting it, so I guess so. You know, I've got a business proposition for you. We're currently looking for a venue to host our biggest show of the entire year, our Halloween episode. I mean, this thing's gonna be drawn in 15 to 20,000 listeners easy. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Hunter Perry, Beyond the Veil. I oh, love the show, dude. Thank you, tune in this weekend. All right. Wow. <laughs> so, um, what are you asking? You want like a cut of my percentage or something? No, I don't want a dime, just a venue. Look, give me 30 minutes tops, in and out. I don't know, man, I have to ask. I'd just give in if I was you. He's relentless. What the hell? All right, sure. I'll talk to Echo and set something up. Thank you. Dylan, you're not gonna regret this. We'll see about that. <laughs> Hey, Mrs. Miller, how are you? Life is great. Can I get you a drink? Sure. Come on in, honey. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, creeps of all ages, you are listening to Beyond the Veil with the one and only Hunter Perry. Thank you so much, Bree. I appreciate that. You guys have tuned in for a great, great show tonight. We're going to be delving into some of the Midwest's most renowned urban legends, starting with the Melon Heads of Kirkland, Ohio. That sounds fascinating. The Mothman of Point Pleasant, mm -hmm. West Virginia. And the mysterious tale of Lilith Ratchet. Now that's the one that I'm most excited about. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. Lilith Ratchet, wasn't that the name of your head? <laughs> Turn it up. All right, we are back on Beyond the Veil, where we are just starting to get into this mysterious tale of Miss Lilith Ratchet. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the story, it goes like this. Lilith Ratchet took a hatchet and gave her lover a head in a basket. Play the game? and call her name, and one by one, you'll feel her pain. Now that sounds like a really messed up nursery rhyme to me. That it does. Lilith Ratchet must have been a dark and tortured soul. She harbored something truly sinister, fueled by years of anger and scorn, betrayal at the hands of her emotionally abusive husband. And in the end, I wouldn't be surprised if she took some sort of great pleasure in gruesomely decapitating both he and his lover. Wow, he's sure. really putting a new Can twist on that. it. She had a good reason. Yeah. I get that. Crime of passion. But at the end of the day, for someone to commit a crime that heinous, that vile, well, 
that individual had to be under the influence of something darker than just hate. Lilith, my friends, was overtaken by something truly evil. Yes, friends, in my hand, I have the head of one Lilith Ratchet. And to all of our listeners out there, let me just say that this head is really terrifying. That she is. <sighs> How much and do I know you what you guys are thinking out there. If worth. the legend is true, then I, Hunter Perry, host you don't think he screwed me there. over. I'm you? putting myself in grave danger. I'm aware of this, but this is my commitment to you, and that's what I'm willing to do. Hunter, let's take some callers. I'm really interested to see what they have to say about this drunken head. Let's do it. Ready? All right, beyond the veil, you're on the air. Hey, Hunter Perry. Go back to teaching gym class, you motherfucker. Oh, it looks like we've lost them. Next caller, please. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start. Let's let's head over to caller number two. Beyond the veil. She's real. Um, excuse me? Who's this? Lilith Ratchet is real. If you play her game, you're going to die. <sighs> We're striking gold tonight, people. This is awesome. So, caller, um, exactly how are you so sure about this? Because I've played her game, and I've lost so many friends because of it. You will too if you don't listen to me. You know, with all these callers telling us not to play the game, it's just making me want to play the game even more. And I know exactly where we're going to play it. And where is that, Hunter? Fright Fest. Mm, this weekend. Big party coming up. You got it. We're gonna take a short break and we will be back. Uh... What the hell? Mr. Perry, welcome, sir. Guys, we have a great night planned for you. I want to thank you all for coming out. Tonight, we have the one and only Hunter Perry here. Yeah! Yeah! Right, right? I know you all listen to Beyond the Veil, am I right? Yeah! Exciting news because, I'm gonna be honest, tonight we are filming a live episode of Beyond the Veil right here at Rockstar Ball! Yeah! Right now, if none of you want to be on camera, you got to tell me right now because I do not need the lawsuits, okay? <laughs> now, with no further ado, I do proudly present the one, the only, Hunter Perry! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to play a game! Yeah! Now, I know you all know her name. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. 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 But, do you know her rhyme? Yeah! Oh, I know you do. Say it with me. Little Ratchet took her a hatchet, gave her lover a head in the basket, played the game, called her name, after midnight, feel her pain! That's right, you guys got it. Are we ready to play? Yeah! Come on, you guys, get on in. Uh, by the way, you two, uh, you guys are playing the game. What? Come on. Up. Yeah. All right, Come let's up. get these guys round the applause. Good job. Good job, man. All right. So all of you I know already know the story. So why don't we go ahead and go over the rules just real fast. Think hot potato, just potentially deadly. <laughs> Simple enough, right? Yep. Yes. All right, all right. Lola, are we ready? Rolling. All right, cameras up. Three, two, one. Action! Little Ratchet took her hatchet, gave her mother a head in a basket, played the game, called her name, after midnight, feel the rain! And you, my friend, are out. This is, this is...
This is freaking ridiculous. Give this guy a round of applause. You guys ready for more? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready for yeah. more? Give her a round of applause. Nice job. All right, let's keep this going. You guys ready to keep this going? Yeah! Are you ready to keep this going? Yeah! I think we are. Here we go. So sorry, babe. Good job. Good job. All right, so the circle's getting smaller now, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Woo! All right, final three people. Are we ready for this? Yeah. yeah. So am I. Here we go. Just you and me now. You ready to play the game? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I said, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Lilith, Lilith Ratchet took a hatchet, gave her lover a head in a basket, played the game, called her name after midnight. I do believe we have a winner tonight. It is Hunter Perry! Yes! Let's give him a big round of applause! What the hell, Ray? You said Lilith was here tonight. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, you need to figure it out, because I'm pissed off right now. Congratulations. Welcome. Give her a round of applause. Woo! Good job. Good job. So I suppose the big question right now is this. Did anybody die yet? No. no. Well, I guess that's a good thing. But I have better news for you all. How about this? I have free t-shirts for y'all. Oh. Yeah. If you want to get one of those t-shirts, all you got to do is shout some ratchet for me. You guys ready for it? Ratchet! 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 Told me that story. I've just been feeling off. Look, I had a really great time with you today. It's just when you told me that story about that demon on your back, it really freaked me out. Lauren, I, I, I thought that was like a bonding moment between us, a good moment. You don't think that story about you speaking with your dead relatives was just a little weird? I know. I have no business telling you that. I don't even know you. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just, I need time to clear my head. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No worries, I'll give you all the time you need. No, no, Nate, it's the game, not like that. Nate! Hey, what happened? 
Are you okay? I don't know. Lauren, what's the matter with you? It's that game. Something tells me we shouldn't be playing it. Where are you going? Where did you come from? I've been right in front of you the whole time. You probably weren't looking where you're going. Oh, um, sorry. Isn't the party back that way? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, uh, I was just leaving. Already? Why is that? I just wasn't having a very good time. It's too bad. Did somebody upset you? How did you know that? I just had a feeling. I'm sure whoever it was didn't mean it. People say things that don't mean all the time. So if you want to give it another shot, I'll look back with you. No, I'm good. Are you sure you want to make the walk alone? I'm fine, thanks. If you head back to the bar now, someone can take you home. That bar is the last place I want to be right now. She's here. I'm making breakfast. Is everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Okay, honey. Rough night, huh? You look like hell. I feel like it too. <laughs> you know, when your dad and I would go to the bars, we would faithfully drink the hair of the dog the next morning. It would stop the hangover before it even began. And work like a charm. Right. But you and dad are functioning alcoholics. I am not. Oh. Was. Your father was an alcoholic. You know what it meant. I know, honey. I'm sorry, Mom. I know you still miss him. I do, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Life throws you lemons, you know? And lemons go great with vodka. Cheers. <laughs> so, what can I make you for breakfast, baby? I'm okay. I'm just gonna take a bath. Okay, honey. I kept telling 
him. If he keeps up his drink, he's gonna end up just like his father. No, Mary. This was an accident, okay? It was not his fault. If he wasn't drinking all night, we wouldn't be in this situation. Dylan, when I went to the morgue, and they pulled down that sheet, his head wasn't there. Oh my God. We're gonna have to have a closed casket, Dylan. Mary, I am so sorry. I should have been there for him. Stop! You were his best friend. You were always there for him whenever nobody else was. That's more than enough. I'm sorry. I'm just such an emotional mess right now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Would you like some tea or something? Yeah. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> Black or green? Black would be fine. in a hangover. Yeah, that makes sense. Last night was pretty crazy. Is everything okay? Yeah, um, yeah, everything's fine. Well, come on in, honey. You can go on back. Come in. Did we drink last night? A lot. What? You got that look. What? Last night, um, Nathan was in a terrible car accident. Is, is he okay? He didn't make it. No, no, no. Oh, God. No. What happened? Apparently, um, <sighs> he was really drunk when he left the party. And from what we've heard, into the street and got struck down by a truck. Alex, you don't think this has anything to do with the game we played? God, Alice, you said you felt something. Yeah. <laughs> So I have to consider the fact that Nathan was very no. drunk last night. No. <laughs> and 
sometimes when people get that intoxicated, they make mistakes. <laughs> and those mistakes can sometimes be fatal. Damn it, Alice. He was such a good guy. He was such a good guy. Mom? Hello?
Honey, you sure you don't want something to eat? I tried calling you earlier from the hospital, honey, but I just thought it'd be better if I stopped by. The hospital? Why, why were you at the hospital? Are, are you okay? Is, is Lauren okay? Is Mrs. Miller? Where's Lauren? Honey, this afternoon. Afternoon, I found her dead. Honey. She got her wrists in the bathtub. Oh God! Oh God! I was too late. I tried to save her. No, no. But I couldn't, honey. I'm so sorry. No, no, I wouldn't do that. There's nothing I can do. So I took some great shots for you at the party, if I do say so myself. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta give Lola a call and see if she finished that video up. Turning our attention to some shocking news. Alcohol may have played a role in what sheriff's deputies are calling Hunter. a gruesome discovery on the city's west side. We want to warn you, the details in the story may be upsetting to some viewers. A young man was found in the middle of the street overnight and deputies say he was apparently killed by a hit and run driver, adding that because of the condition of the body that it's possible that he may have been run over more than once, possibly several times. While details are slim at this point, first responders did note a strong odor you of alcohol, which think they're suggests gonna blame us, do you? that alcohol may have played a role. What? The victim will be the subject no. of an autopsy and toxicology. Hunter, that has nothing to do with us. So Why would they blame us? Final decision. The sheriff's office is asking for anyone information to step forward I mean, I just or call it with tips help it feel somehow responsible tips. for this all callers may remain anonymous <sighs> okay look hunter that is in no way anyone's fault okay nate was just a victim of circumstance the wrong place and the wrong time look at me okay you're right Bree, I honestly have no idea what I would do without you. You're the best assistant I could ever ask for. Hunter, look, I understand that you went through a lot. You know, your work, your mom, your life, and I am trying the best that I can to help you. But you are making me feel like you only love me because I'm your assistant and not your girlfriend. You can't even kiss me without talking about work. Is that what you want, Bree? Is that what no, you want? That's not Two that's more what kisses? I want. Like this? No, no. And this? And this? You don't take it seriously. <laughs> and this? I can give you more kisses. You know what I mean. Of course I do. And I'm sorry. I don't love you because you're my assistant. I love you because you're smart. And you're funny. And you're beautiful. And you're everything I could ever ask for. And so much more. I'm in this for the long haul, Brie. I love you. Look at this. 
<laughs> no more of that. I promise. I promise. Thanks for helping me close up. Really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, obviously Mary's not going to be in to help you, so I'm not going to stick you with it. Yeah, sad. You know how it happened? Oh, I mean, we're getting a lot of uh, conflicting stories, but right now all signs point to a hit and run. It's terrible. He was a good guy. <laughs> yeah, he was. And uh, I know how close you guys were, so I'm sorry. Thanks, man. Hey, listen, um, if I hear from Mary, I'll let you know when things are going to open up again. But um, till then, consider it a open-ended vacation. Pretty depressing vacation. <laughs> All right, well, if you need anything, let me know. Thanks, brother. Be good, okay? You too. I was over at the diner. I was helping clean up because Mary can't do it, you know? Couldn't say no. Hey, what's wrong? Alice, what's wrong? Lauren's dead. What? How? Uh, they. They found her in her bathtub and, um. And they're saying that it was a suicide? Still, and Lauren wouldn't do that. Oh, I know. I know. Do you think it was that game? The game? No, I don't. Alice. This sucks. I am so sorry, but sometimes things happen to good people and, and that's how life goes. I'm sorry. I can I can see that I'm not getting anywhere with you, so I'm I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to Hunter. Okay. Talk to Hunter? Are you serious? Alice! Are you okay? What's the matter? Lauren's dead. Alice, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're saying that she killed herself. Oh my it's God. not true. It's not true. Nate's dead too, and they're just saying that it was an accident, but it wasn't. It was a game. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't the game, Alice. <laughs> yes, it was. I felt something. Alice, what did you feel? I don't know. When I was holding that head, everything got cold. What? You have to believe me. No, no, me. no. I need you to calm down. I need you to calm down. Listen, I have someone who can help us. Someone we can talk to. Do you trust me, Alice? Yeah. Now, I know this might not align with some of your personal beliefs, but I want you to give my Aunt Jean a chance. I trust her. Everyone, please have a seat. I assume we're here for you. What's that smell? Homemade incense. It's my own mixture of lemongrass and sage. Lemongrass to help sharpen awareness, and sage is known to keep dark spirits at bay. 
So Hunter was telling us that you were the one that actually introduced him to the spiritual world and helped to inspire his show. That's amazing. Well, I'm certainly happy to take the responsibility of leading Hunter into the New Age. <laughs> the New Age. <laughs> Laugh all you want, but you're welcome to wait outside. Uh, no. I'm cool. Can you tell us if there's anything evil attached to what's inside? What's the matter? Nothing. Just familiarizing myself. doing? Cleansing the energy. Smudging for protection. I'm not sure what Hunter has told you about the situation. Hunter doesn't need to tell me anything. I already know. Your friends are here with us. Both of them. I smell Lauren's perfume. I think it's time we begin. Hunter, you know how this goes. I do. I need a moment to concentrate. Startled you. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. It's just that your friends are trying to speak to me, and it's so difficult to understand what they're saying. Were you talking to Lauren? I was. Tell us about the head. Tell us if the head had anything to do with what happened. I need a moment of silence. I see headlights. A car swerving to get out of the way. Your friend. Had he been drinking? I smell alcohol on his breath. Stop. I don't want to hear about that. It was an accident, Dylan. Uh, no shit. You're supposed to tell me things I don't know. What about Lauren? Water. I can hear the faucet dripping. I feel the sharp sting of a razor blade against her flesh. I can feel her pain. There's so much sadness. Your friend had many demons, Alice. No, that's not true. I'm speaking the truth. Sorry if it's not what you want to hear. Alice, maybe you didn't know Lauren as well as you think you did. 
They're gone. The connection's lost. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I thought I was on silent. And it's my sister, of course. I don't know, we're gonna have to cut this short. I'm sorry. No, I, I think we're done here. Great, awesome. Um, Alice, can we go? Oh, Alice. Sorry I didn't tell you what you wanted to hear. But you should know Lauren did love you very much. You'll be seeing her soon. I promise. Dylan! Dylan, wait! She was lying to us. Alice, I really can't do this right now, okay? She was holding back, Dylan. I know she was. I could feel it. The fact that she's a fraud. And you're falling for her parlor tricks. Our friends have been dead for two days. Two days! And you're getting caught up in all this fantasy nonsense. Frankly, Alice, it's insulting. So what are you saying? I really can't stay here. Okay? My best friend just died. I deserve time to process that. I love you. But I don't want to say something I'm going to regret. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go, and I will talk to you soon. Dylan! Dylan, wait! Dylan! Who? Oh, me? Yeah, you live right down the street. I've seen you before. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I, um... I just didn't recognize you. Don't apologize. Rough day? Uh, you have no idea. Listen, I, um... I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I just... I really don't have time for small talk. I gotta get home. I'm sorry about your friend. What did you say? Your friend. You know, the one who had the accident? How horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I upset you? Looks like you've seen a ghost. How did you know? It's all over the news. No, no. How did you know he's my friend? I've seen you two before. You know what? I apologize, but uh, we gotta get home. Have a good day. It was nice of you to visit his mom. I'm sure she appreciates it. What did you just say? Jamie! I'll be ready in like two minutes. Two minutes means two minutes, Jamie. I mean it. No putzing around. Since when did you become Sergeant Andrews? <sighs> you know, this whole sister show for a thing's getting pretty old. I'm sorry I can't get my license. I have anxiety. Do you want me to kill myself? Unless I end up killing you first. Now hurry up. Hunter Perry? Hunter, do you have a minute? Yeah, of course. What's up? I was going through some of the footage from the other night, and I think I caught something on camera. Wait, what? What, what do you mean, something? I don't know. I thought I saw something the other night, but I wasn't quite sure until I was able to pull up the footage. Wait, what are you talking about? What did you see? It's a woman. A woman? Oh. 
So your friend showed up. What, my friend? Yeah, your friend that we paid to dress up as Lilith and scare the audience. Hunter, my friend bailed last minute. I thought she told you that. Wait, what? Here, I'll just send you a screenshot of the image. Hey, baby, it's me. I was just calling to check in on you and to make sure that Alice is okay. I mean, she seemed pretty upset after we left Aunt Jane's house. But, uh, I'm about to take Jamie to work, so I'll give you a call a little bit later after I drop her off. Okay, I love you. Bye. Jamie? Holy shit, Lola. We, I, I, I need you to send me a copy of that video now. This is important, do you understand? Oh, um, oh, okay. Look, I gotta go right now. Just get me that video as soon as you can. Perfect timing. What's going on? My car won't start. What do you mean? What's it doing? I don't know, it just keeps making noises. It's like something just fell off of it. Yeah, I don't know if it was my muffler or what, but... Hold on one second. What the hell? No, no, nothing. Never mind. I just, I just feel like I've been seeing stuff ever since we left your jeans. Hold on one second. Let me try this again. Okay, good. We're good. Did it start? Yeah, it turned on. Good. Yeah. Listen, look, listen to me. The what? Dick and, uh, boy, it's Hunter, a I woman. can't hear you. It just, I, I think I'm good. I Hunter. Hey, 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 hold, hold on, one second. Jamie's beeping in. What? Where's my black bra? I'm wearing it. I'm gonna kill you. Hello? Hey, Brick. Can you hear? Hunter, I cannot Brick. hear you. Listen, do not go into the car. I'm on my way. I will pick you up. Just go back. Right now. You're breaking up. Brick. You're, you're Radio just turned on. I, can't, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Campus students and faculty today are mourning the loss of one of their brightest, college senior Bree Walker. Walker was found deceased in her vehicle, still in her garage. Officials are investigating the death as an apparent suicide and friends are shocked, recalling her love of life and her bright future. Walker was 22. Family and friends can pay their last.
Look, man, this is not the time. I'd rethink that, Hunter. I'm sure that you have a few questions regarding the game by this point. How do you know about the game? From your radio show, of course. I'm a big fan. Three people are dead. Do not joke with me right now, man. Only three? It sounds like she's taking her time with this one. She must like you. I know who you are. I remember you. You called in the show the other day. Are you behind all of this? You seem to know a lot about what's going on. Because I've played the game. What? Didn't you win? Why? Just answer the question. Yeah, I won. Why? Because that gives you time. Let me ask you this. How many people have died since you played? Three. Clock is ticking, my friend. Three to go. Well, that is unless you don't take matters into your own hands. You can stop the bleeding. I'm not listening to your bullshit anymore. Seriously. You want the truth? You already know it. Lilith Ratchet is not just a ghost. She's a demon. A poltergeist. She's not restricted to the spiritual realm. She can hurt you, and she intends to. Yeah, so all of that's really, really obvious now, man, but what do you want me to do? Just sit here and wait for her to come find me? You have choices. Two, to be specific. The first is exactly that. You die. That tends to be the outcome. Well, that's not happening. What's the other choice? Think of the game, Hunter. The players are dying in a specific order. But what would happen if you were to disrupt that? You need to think of what she wants. Think of the poem, Hunter. She wants others to feel her pain. So, you need to give her what she wants. I think you already know what that is. No, man, you're insane. And don't shoot the messenger. I'm speaking from experience. No. You're crazy. I'm signing off. You'll see. It's all about self-preservation, Hunter. Remember that. Good luck. Dylan? Hunter Perry. Hunter, it's Alice. Where are you right now? I'm heading up to Rockstar to grab a drink. Okay, I I'm, I'm gonna meet you there, okay? Y yeah, I I'll see you soon. Hey, Mr. Perry, what's up? 
Is everything all right? No, I'm looking for my friend Alice. Is that her right there? Yeah. Hunter? Hunter, I can't find Dylan. Right, what's wrong? Let see the owner. Would that be okay? Yeah, yeah, come on inside. seen him since the party. Hunter, I went to his apartment and his door was open and he wasn't there. I don't know what to do. Just calm down. What's going on with Dylan? Listen, it's a really long story. We conjured something the night of that party. Something evil. Now three of our friends are dead and now we think Dylan's next. I know it sounds crazy, but I think it's true. No, I don't want that. I'm being serious. We're being stalked by the ghost of Lilith Ratchet. What the hell was that? Do you think that was Dylan? Yeah. I have to take a look around, will you? All right, boss. I'll be right back. Hello? Anybody down here? Kill it. Hey, what's up, boss? Tell I but I'm leaving. Sounds cool. Make sure you lock up for me too, all right? You guys, if I hear from Dylan, I'll let him know you guys are looking for him. Out. Hey, Ivan.
Adrian, listen to me. You can end this. You can end all of this. I can't. You can, and you have to. If you don't decide, it'll be decided for you.
No, you're fine. It's fine. you next. She's gonna kill me. No. I'm going to keep you safe. And you should come with me, all right? I need you to hold your breath and close your eyes and listen to my voice. I love you. I'm right here with you.
I'm sorry for everything that happened to you, Hunter. I did try to warn you. I know. So is it over? It is for you. Yeah. Are you the guy in the radio? No, kid, not anymore. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What can I do for you boys? What's that? Oh, this? It's something just for you. Lilith Ratchet? took a hatchet and granted her lover a head in a basket. <laughs>